This is Longtime Gamer Venry Fairden introducing Uncle Troy's Minecraft videos. Hello there, folks. This is Uncle Troy. Today we're playing Minecraft. I got a little trick for you. But before we started, I wanted to thank everyone who responded to my 50 subscriber special video. I really appreciate all the feedback. And the main reason why you're seeing my face here at the start of this video is because I showed my face at the start of that last video, and it occurs to me that every video I post may be the first video somebody sees. And I didn't want people to think that normally I look like I just came off of a three-day drinking binge. Um, I was going for the dis disheveled look. I was wanting it to look like I had just gotten out of bed and posted a video, which I did. But looking back, I look really, really bad. So I wanted you to see what I look like uh, when I do take a, a few moments to uh, spiff myself up a little. Uh, still pretty bad, I admit. But at least I don't look like I've been drinking. Um, don't drink, kids. Alcohol is bad for you. Okay, folks, if you're like me, you like playing multiplayer in addition to single player. And you may have several multiplayer servers you like. For example, I sometimes am on the Something Cubed server, and other times on, on the uh, Tech Dolphin SMP server where uh, I do most of my Let's Play. And the difference between these two servers is this one is public. Anyone that wants to can type this in and can go to uh, the Something Cube server. It's uh, But this one is private, and because it's private, we want to keep the uh, server address well, private. And you may say, well, what do you mean keep the address private? It says private right there. Well, it says private right there because I used a special technique to hide the server IP address from you, the viewer. Uh, I could do the same thing with this, but uh, I don't really care if you know what this is because they put that right out, right out on their website for everybody to use. But we don't want everybody and their brother on this little private server. It's uh, not quite as high capacity as you can see. Ooh, I never realized that before. You can get uh, pings by just mousing over that. How nice. But you may say, well, how do you make that? Well, I'm going to show you. Okay, let's say the game server you're wanting to connect to is at gameserver.example.com. Now, there's probably not actually a game server at gameserverexample.com. It's just that example.com is what we old timers always use when we're using an example because example.com used to just be an example website. It didn't actually perform any purpose, so that way if you accidentally took it down by sending too many people there, you didn't have to worry about, you know, interrupting somebody's business or something. Now, for the purpose of this discussion, we're going to pretend like GameServer.Example.com is a super secret game server that you do not want anybody on YouTube to know about, but you don't want to take the time every time you put up a YouTube video to double check to make sure you haven't accidentally let that IP address show through. Now, technically, this isn't the IP address. This is actually the domain name. The IP address looks something like this number dot number dot number dot number or in the IPv6 even stranger but this is the IPv4 that I'm used to it's actual in the numbers the internet has things called DNS domain name server which uh, converts the something dot something say game server dot example dot com in this case to the one two three dot four five dot six seven dot eight nine but your uh, hosting company, your internet service provider, the person administering your server should be able to tell you what that actual IP address is. If not, you may be able to look it up through some kind of service on the internet. Just, you know, use a search engine of your choice and try to, you know, ask it, may even just ask it, what is the IP address of something something dot something dot com? Regardless, you really need to know those numbers because that's what we're going to use to hide the uh, server address from the general public. Now the next thing we have to do is find the location of our host file. H-O-S-T-S. Uh, in my system it's under C, Windows, System32, Drivers, etc. Hosts. And any other Windows based system should be somewhere similar to that. Um, I'm told that even Unix systems and whatnot have a host file. But the purpose of a host file is to 
provide a list of IP addresses that go along with domain names so that when you're trying to browse or somehow connect to those domain names you do not have to go to a domain name server to look up the IP address instead you automatically connect to the numbers involved for example localhost is 127.0.0.1 so anytime you try to connect to a local host your browser or your game or whatever knows to connect to 127.0.0.1 without having to connect to a domain name server somewhere and looking up that domain name. To add a new entry to your host file all you have to do is add a new line, add the IP address followed by a unique name, and then any place you would have used that IP address in a browser, in a game, whatever, you would instead use that new unique name. In this case I used Secret Server. And that's just an example. Uh, in my real life Minecraft game I used Private. In fact I'm going to show you that right now. Again here we are in the Minecraft game. We click Multiplayer and as you can see here I... let's uh, edit for server address instead of entering the IP address which for an example we're going to say 123.45.67.89 I instead entered private and then the uh, port number and now it acts just like I had the actual address in there much like here at something cubed as far as Minecraft is concerned when it sees private it asks the operating system look up private for me and the operating system says, okay, that belongs to IP address 123.45.67.89. Same as up here, Minecraft tells the operating system, tell me what sc34.servercraft.company, whatever, tell me what IP address that is. The server, as far as the game's concerned, the operating system is returning the same type of information. And even though that says private dot whatever, and you say, well, that's not right. That's not a valid server address. I can click Join Server. And here we are. We've connected. And there's the usual multiplayer lag there. And I'm kind of concerned that I saw a zombie right there. I don't know if that's right above my head or if that's right below me or not. Excuse me, not a zombie, a creeper. I don't see him down here. Let's go upstairs and maybe there's a creeper up there. Hmm, don't see him up here either. Maybe he's outside somewhere. Not up here either, huh. I really need to get around to making this base uh, less mob friendly. Harder for mobs to get into. Alrighty, so I guess he was just a little glitch there. Perhaps he's down in the caves underneath us somewhere. Anyway, as you can see, I am connected to the multiplayer server, even though I have it listed as private. And that is how you hide your server IP from Snoopy uh, YouTube people. And uh, although all my subscribers and most of my viewers are really great people that I don't care if they know about the IP or not, once the IP of a server gets out there, then it's out there. Once something is out on the internet, it's out there forever. So you really need to keep things secret if you want to keep things secret. And I keep misstepping here. All sorts of stuff out here. Hello. Yep, we've got us a glitchy... A glitchy creeper somewhere around here. What's this over here? Are you down there anywhere? There you are. Eh, there's another one. No, don't please don't blow up this close to base. All right, I'm obviously getting distracted. There we go. Okay, I think my next mission will be to uh, clean up all this down here underneath the base because 
that's a little scary. Mm. All right. Anyway, that was the uh, whole point was of this video was to show you how to keep the uh, IP address of your private server private. Uh, I think this will work with other games. The only one I've really tried it with is Minecraft. So that's why I use an example here. And I hope this. Uh, there's another creeper out there, isn't there? I am surrounded by creepers. This will not end well. I'm going to log off and see if these creepers uh, despawn. And uh, then I'll be back <laughs> with you later, I guess. Yeah, I think the next video will be me making this base a little more uh, mob-proof. All right, this is Uncle Troy signing out. Please have a good night.